I've read that there are more classic American cars in Sweden than anywhere else in the world. Well, America, of course, let me know in the comments if you can confirm or deny. And it looks like a couple of thousand of them are here in southern Sweden tonight. <laughs> so there's two main types of classic car enthusiasts in Sweden. You've got those guys that meticulously restore their cars to pristine showroom condition. And then you've got the Ragara subculture, which I think takes a bit of inspiration from America, the hillbilly and the redneck scene. And these guys drive around in trashed American classics. And the main aim of a cruise is to get, get absolutely hammered, party and have a good time. And I absolutely love it.
Bojan. Bojan. Get it back of it.
Respect. <laughs> continued long into the small hours but I got a puncture from a smashed beer bottle and I'm giddy on exhaust fumes so it's time to head home. I really enjoyed the evening with the Raggeras and their wonderful automobiles. I'm from the UK so I ought to be fond of the classic English cars Morris Miners, Ford Capris and so on but I get much more of a kick seeing the American cars. There's something about their ridiculous size and extravagant styling, the vintage Americana, and of course, the sound and smell of those massive V8 engines. It's incredible to think that if you want to see classic American cars in action, then one of the best places in the world to do so is in Sweden. It's a lifestyle here and part of the culture, especially in the countryside and rural areas. It was great to see the enjoyment that the owners and their companions get from their vehicles and the occasion. It was fascinating to observe the contrasting styles of the meticulously restored classics and then the trashed Pilsner wagons, as they are known, scraping the ground as they rumble along. For me, I prefer the latter. They have so much more character and personality and each car tells its own story. There was no doubt that the Pils Nabila got the most attention from the onlookers and for me, they are the ultimate cool ride. I'd love to hear the opinions of any car enthusiasts in the United States about what you think about these cars and the cruising in general. Please let us know in the comments. Thank you. And in case you were wondering, the alcohol driving laws are very strict over here and I'm sure the drivers weren't consuming a drop. In fact, many of the owners ask their friends to take the wheel so that they can get drunk and enjoy the occasion. It's fun to witness how normally reserved Swedes really let their hair down. Well, all it takes is a half litre of moonshine, apparently. The police presence was quite intense with horses, drones and a helicopter. They even brought in a portable jail unit on a trailer to detain drunken troublemakers, which I read in the paper was fully utilised during the night. The town also needed a major clean-up operation the day after. The bottom line though, it's all about getting together on a Saturday night with your best mates, hanging out, partying and having a great time. Thinking about it, it's more or less what I was doing when I was a lad. Except in the UK we call them boy races and we didn't have such cool cars. Thanks for watching.